Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome back to Tharsis and our attempt to get to Mars on this ship that's completely falling apart. And indeed, it's in a pretty bad shape at the moment because we're halfway to Mars, five weeks to Mars there at the top, and everything's just gone a bit wrong. So I need to figure out what the bloody hell to do next. Okay, the advantage is I've got a pretty good crew and lots of die to throw at the problem. And what I've just noticed as the bigger problem is there's a really big number of very unhelpful die floating around in the world right now. There's lots of injury die, the orange ones, and the void die at the back are just brutal. Uh, that's a real problem. Okay, I've got a plan. I'm going to send the captain over here into the greenhouse. I'm going to see if I can use her to get extra die for her and for Yuri. Uh, this isn't really the best time to use my one assist, but I'm hoping I can earn some more with the technician. So the captain rolls her die and rolls reasonably, albeit she takes an injury. Um, so, that two, one of the twos is locked down. There's a four on the injury. Alright, I'm going to re-roll re that two and hope for a five or a six. Five or six, five or six, five or six! Yes! Okay. That is exactly what I needed to see. And when I say exactly what I needed to see, I mean balls. That's not what I needed to see at all. What can I do here? What can I do? This is really inefficient, but I want to give an extra die to Yuri. So I want one of these sixes to be over here. And that leaves me, annoyingly, with 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my special tools down here in research to get seven off this here module... And then I, then I can, yeah, okay. Then, ooh, hang on. Then I can use six and six. No, the most efficient thing I can do now as a result of that, this six goes up here. This six goes over here. Extra die for Yuri. The two and the four go down into research. All right, finish the deployment. That room is now fixed up. That's good, because that was a real danger room. And now at least the ship is not going to explode next turn. You know, probably. Probably, anyway. Um, a one, a two, and a three with a void on two. Who should be the next person to go into that room? Joy, you go into that room next and see what you can do in there. Because what I'm actually thinking... Oh, actually, you know what I could do? I've got disaster reduced down here. If I can fill out my table of research using Joy and Yuri, I could just send Alison into here and just use that to just wipe out the problem without there being an issue. But Joy can go in first. Yeah, Joy can go in first here. Joy's going over here. Roll well, Joy. Roll well. All right. I believe in you. I believe in you. That's pretty good when we say pretty good i mean you did just flipping lose the die but all right um okay and then double three so uh replenish dice for active crew member hmm. i could either put six into this or you know what it's safest safest just to get that down to nine i'm just gonna shove everything into repair this turn the pilot can go in here, and he can also do that. He needs to get an average of three, but with a void in the room, that can be a little bit on the dangerous side. Um, what this basically means... Oh, yeah, this is dangerous. What this means is basically Alison is going to be extremely unlikely to be able to sort out the rear room by herself. Alison could just roll to fill out the research book, but it's un it's we wouldn't be certain whether she'd be able to do it, but in a safe room, Alison would be very likely able to do so. And she could use the spare for anything else, like assists, for example. I'm kind of thinking that I ought to sacrifice two health of the ship, because this room is insanely dangerous to roll in because of all the voids. That's what I'm going to do. That This is what I'm doing. This is this is probably a bad idea. So Alison has multiple roles. What I need to get out of her 
is a one, a three, a five, and a six of three sets of rolls of five dice. And then another, yeah, I need a one, a three, and then two of either a five or a six, and one of the other. Okay, that's what I need. So, Alison has given me two, three, actually that's not even that bad. Three, and a five. So I need her to give me a one, ideally a one and a six. I don't know what the, the probabilities have got too complicated for me to calculate. Oh my goodness, she just did it. Okay, that's the basis, that's the basic what I need. Okay, now I just want her to re-roll and I get a five or a six. If she get me a five or a six, I love her forever. I love her forever. Okay, that's actually perfect. That's exactly what I needed her to do. So because of that, Yuri being the pilot can move wherever he wants. Yuri moves to this room, and he uses the entirety of that research deck that we just earned to clear this room without any risk whatsoever. He then has spare die to roll in order to hopefully roll for doubles. Roll for doubles. Come on, roll for doubles. Roll for doubles. Either he gets doubles, in which case I fix the ship, or he doesn't get doubles, in which case, uh, in which case, screw it. We're just going to get the research deck back up, in which case I'm just going to... Oh, Two research points for just plus one ship. That's a bit harsh. Um, Alright, fine. That's it. That's all we've got. And that means as a result, the ship does take two damage. Yep, we know. The more I see of this video, the more it scares the shit out of me. Who are they? What's going on here? What have we gotten ourselves into? So obviously, as is being kind of subtly revealed, the ship has received a video from Mars showing people wearing suits that only were made for the Iktomi on the surface of Mars already. So it's all getting a bit suspicious. Okay, um, we shut those alarms off. Plus, one. okay, so ah, you see, the stress is starting to get to people. These people are suggesting that everyone gets an extra die, but it would cause loss of health for everyone. You know, everyone's got quite a bit of health. That's not a bad idea. But basically, they're going to work more. They're going to work harder, but they're going to work unsafely. So they're going to take injuries as they work, little injuries, but they're going to have more dice. I'm going to take the dice because I've got a room that isn't even fixed yet. Yep, everyone takes a bit of a hit. Finish. All right, what have you got for me this time? Game 22, 10. Okay, that's good. That's good. And these rooms are nowhere near as bad. Um, there's much less void die. There's much less injury die. This is good, but oh blimey, that's some, that's some, that's a lot of damage. I've only got two health on this ship, and it's about to take six damage. So, okay, this better not go wrong. Uh, the technician, who's already in this room, should take care of her problem first. Yeah, fine. The technician should take care of her problem first because she can potentially get some extra assist. She's she's in the most dangerous room because she's got room with injury and void. So she can roll in here pretty safely. And that's a really good roll, mind. That's a really bloody good roll, in fact. Um, hang on, what's the best thing to do here? Um, regain die, a six and a six. Oh, regain die is not that useful, I don't think. Um, and then a, s a five. Yeah, then that five. And then this six goes down here, this five goes in here, and this two can just... I'll just put that two over there. Uh, all right, good. And that gets us some extra, and that gets us the assist we lost back again. So that's good. So now, probably the safest thing to do is for... You, yeah, Yuri, Yuri physically can't deal with this room by himself. So I'm sending the specialist down to help him. And there's a stasis on one and two, but we've got loads of assists. So five, a six, two, a three, and a one. Yep, fine. So those are all pretty good. Shove the six and the five in there. And then she might be able to do this by herself, actually. Might be able to if we get really lucky. Get really, really lucky. And then another assist pops in. Yep, a four and a four. And then, okay, three or higher, three or higher, three or higher, three or higher, three or higher. Yes, nice. Well done, Alison. That's, you see, that's the power of assists. One person can go into a room with 22 and actually sort it out. Assists are really powerful. That's why I love bringing along the technician. The technician's one of the characters I unlocked. You don't start with her. I think she's pretty damn powerful. 
So I think the best thing we can probably do at this point is Yuri. Can Yuri with three die go in? Yeah, actually, there's only a single stasis in here. I'm going to send Yuri up to um, the piloting module. Yeah, he can go and handle this by himself. Yuri, you can totally do this, can't you? Don't, not ones. And he's already done it. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't think there's much point re-rolling to be No, you know what? Let's not take the risk. Just sort the room. Done. All right, good. Now, the ship is now not going to explode. I can now send the captain to the rear of the ship to try and fix the ship. Or I could send her to try and make some more food. Food is probably sensible. Food is almost certainly sensible. You're going into the food room, Ray. And, oh, she can't even give herself more die. So we're just basically rolling for doubles right now. And we've got ourselves a couple of threes and a couple of twos. Um, I will put the... Uh, does it, it makes no difference, John. Don't don't analyse whether that makes a difference, because it doesn't. Now we can just hope for another two, another two, another two, another two, another two, another two. And that's a shame. Um, oh, well, I can get my... I can get... I can give her her dice back. Which is useful at least. Uh, but those two are just not going to do anything. So I just shove that there. That's a shame actually if I'd stored the four. That could have been a research project. But um, uh, why is it worth doing? Actually you know what. I wonder if the game will be smart enough to realize. As I've got a five and a six spare. I can use it the five or the six. For the give herself a bit more health. No it didn't. It always chooses the um, always chooses the lowest. Well at least I've got a, a special a um, special tools available now. That's arguably more useful. Yeah leave the module. The captain is still on five dice. That's useful. All right, good. Those people, are they us? What's happening to them? Are we seeing ourselves? <laughs> oh, that's insane. What's happening to us? I think they're going mad. Lovely. Now, let's see if we've got some good choices. Plus two ship, but minus one die. Or minus 30%. Yeah, get the stress down for those people. Get Yuri's stress down. Beautiful. Uh, we've got one spare food, which goes over to Yuri. And then, oh, blimey, we've got three crew members with full food. Stress isn't too bad at all. Alison's, yeah, stress is really good and good. This is going very well. Now, new events. 14, 12, 11. Three events to handle. None of them too bad, but plenty of injury. Problem is, we just don't really have... Yeah, the real problem is we just don't really have enough flipping ship health. I really need to get the ship health up pretty soon. Because when you get to one week to Mars, you basically have to pile everyone into the front room in order to get them onto the landing craft. But if the ship's not in a fit state to even survive, then you're in a lot of trouble. Um, because someone has to stay behind to fix up the ship while everyone else goes down to the surface. I've never got everyone down to the surface. Like I say, I've played this game a couple times before and I've, like, I've just managed to scrape to Mars in the past, but only like one or two people on a desperately exploding ship. So this is probably the best run I've ever done. Um, and I've got loads of die, sanity's looking good, everything's looking fine. An injury on six. Everyone's on four or three health. No room is more dangerous than the others. They're all pretty similar, to be honest. Let's just have Alison start off in this room over here. So Alison is going to be rolling for 12, which you should easily be able to do. Although injury on 6 and stasis on 1 is a bit risky. She might have enough left over to even repair the ship if she's lucky. Come on, Alison. Oh, that's an injury there. Ouch. Uh, but on the... Pl oh, hang on. That is literally... Although she took a hit there, that is basically literally the perfect roll. Because 6-6... Six, six, and then doubles. And the ship is back up to four health. Beautiful. Okay, that went beautifully well. Alison took a hit, which isn't great. She looks a bit grumpy about it, but she'll get over it in the morning. Next. The pilot could head down. The pilot has three. Everyone else has three health. Is there any reason to send anyone in particular into this room? No. You know what? Let's, let's patch up the ship as best we can at the moment. Yuri... You're going to go... Can you even move into the... Yeah, you can move safely into that ship. Yuri's going to go down here. And he's going to sort out the SSU. The sequential shunt unit, which has been damaged. And it's not even providing the voltage regulation. Bloody hell, that's its only job. You had one job, sequential shunt unit. Right, roll the die. Not five, not five, not five. There's a... F oh, that's a double injury. Ouch. He has been badly injured doing this job. Um, yeah, he's been quite badly injured doing this job, in fact. Alright, shove the six. 
and the five. Three goes in here. He goes here. And one goes down here. So we've we've de-stressed him, but he's got like no health left. We ideally could do with if a yeah, if a research thing pops up to heal him, we need to get him one of those. Because he's in bad shape at the minute. Um, right. Okay. Next, we've only got this thing left. One die that needs to be on four. Uh, deploy in here. Yeah, deploy her in here. And roll the die. Not too many fours! Oh no! Ouch! That hurt a lot. Um, okay, have we got any matching pairs? We do have a matching pair of fours. So if we were to commit those to that, I don't dare re-roll though. I'm really not sure I dare re-roll. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say I'm going to use special tools. That get that's that, that yeah, that's down to 4. That solves the room. That gets us assists. That gets us food. All right? Good. Finish the deployment. Beautiful. That's the room sorted. And oh, I can get the I can get the entire crew one more die using four research points. That's actually quite powerful. So now the captain has to make a choice. The captain can either go and try and fix up the ship or try and make additional food. I feel like the food situation's okay right now. So I think the captain's going to go down here and hopefully, yeah, the captain's going to go down here, roll, give additional die to Alison and herself and hopefully fix up the ship too. All right. So we just need another two, another two to fix up the ship. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to take that five. I'm going to shove that over here. I just need you to roll a two, all right? That's all I want out of life right now. I want you to roll a two to get an extra point into the ship. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And the remaining die can go in here. That five is useless, however, so never mind. Right, finish the deployment. Okay, we're almost there. None of this makes any sense. It keeps changing. Is this real? Is this something that's happening now or something that's going to happen? Can we stop it? And if so, how? Okay. Plus one health for all crew, but minus dice for those guys. That could arguably be useful because, oh, we've got multiple people almost dead. <sighs> uh, running low on supplies, plus one food, minus one dice, or plus one health, minus one dice. I'm going to go for... So basically, I'm losing two dimes no matter what. Um, I'm going to go for the health. Okay, that's good. Um, we're getting really close at this point. I'm getting nervous. Oh, flip. Um, those guys... So nobody is on one health, which is really good news. The fact that nobody's on one health is fantastic news. Um, everyone's got quite a bit of dice, but probably could do with a little bit more. I'm going to give the food over to Joy. No one's going to eat the final bit of Mapaya. Okay, no event. 24, 12, 13. Ouch. Okay. Oh, flip. That's a lot of health loss. I'm going to suggest we're only two weeks out from Mars at this point. We could simply say, screw the health bay prioritize exclusively on getting the rest of the ship in okay oh but that means i can't use the med bay if the med bay is out of commission that means i can't heal any of these guys although i could use amphetamines makes the crew extra alert to avoid accidents oh that's prevent injury not prevent health loss unfortunately and the propellant fire at the front of the ship is pretty bloody dangerous. In fact, hang on, if I wanted to move you up here, you'd have to lose two health because they'd have to... Oh, no. These guys are trapped at the back of the ship. The captain and the specialist are trapped at the back of the ship. That's annoying because uh, they need to pass through two dangerous rooms. And that's... You lose one health for passing through a dangerous room. Okay, I'm going to send my specialist to here to try and solve this here problem because the combined nine dice of the technician and the pilot should be able to deal with the problem up in the pilot thing so she's going up there she takes a hit we've got three assists to avoid the risk of injury 
And that's plenty, actually. Yeah, that's actually plenty. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Problem solved. Finished deployment. Okay. Now, the captain is stuck at the back of the ship and arguably could focus exclusively on sorting out just making sure the ship survives because when we get to one week to Mars I want the ship to be strong enough condition that everyone is fine to just make a run for the cockpit because ideally when we're on next turn nobody does anything so food doesn't matter anymore what I need instead is Joy's gonna head up here try and solve this problem and Yuri can come and help her later oh if Joy does a really good job, Yuri might go and take some assists back to the rear of the ship and try and sort out the void problem. Okay. Roll, 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 roll well, roll well, roll well. That wasn't well. Ouchies. Oh, flip. Okay. I've lost a die. And I've got snake eyes. I'm going to shove these two in here. If I re-roll... Because the thing is, if I just if I just get rid of those ones, or just kind of take the safe, or if I just kind of get them out of the way now, this room's at 13. 13 is quite difficult to deal with, even with like four die. So I kind of need to re-roll. But if I get a one, Joy's gonna die. Two dice, the chance of getting a one is well, it's not exactly a third, but it's like it's, it's about a third. Godspeed, Joy. I love you. Four and a five. Okay, that's much better. Now, the question is what I do next. Is it safer to put... The four's going up there. The question now is whether it's safer to put the five up there to get that down to six. Or to put the five into assists and get plus two, ass plus two assists. Two assists would... The person who's probably going to come up here and help is going to have either three or four die. I think that's safer. I'm probably going to regret that decision. <laughs> okay. So next. Yuri, with two assists to help him, could go one of two places. He could either go and take out... Yeah, he could go and take out this room. He could go and take out here. Or he could go to the front. The thing is, when I've got two assists available... Actually, you know what? It's safe. Yuri's only got two health. So Yuri's going to go here and use the assists to sort out this here problem. Because with four die and only a 12 to sort out and with two assists to hand, he really should be able to sort this out. Yep, the, he's only used up one of the assists as well. Beautiful. Um, he can get his health up, but does he really need to? Uh, no, I really don't think it's worth the risk. Um, so we're just going to solve this here problem right now. He's got an extra assist, mind. So we may as well re-roll for hopefully a four or something. Nah, it's only a three. Fine. Uh, I could have healed him if it had been a five or above. Or it had been a f yeah, had it been five or six, I could have health recovered. Or four, I could have put it in research. So it was a 50-50 chance of working out pretty well. So that problem's sorted. And that means the captain can run up top and help out this problem. Still with one assist to hand. And it, to her, injury doesn't matter as much because she's got uh, she's got a yeah she's got some protection that's been voided, and that is twelve, done, sorted, problem problem completed. Now, the final week is upon us. Let's see what we can do. We've almost made it. After all we've been through, there's no turning back. It's a suicide mission. But then again. Maybe it always was. Okay, what do we have next? Um, plus one health. No, I don't need plus one health for you. I don't need plus one health for you at all. I need plus one health for the other guys, but plus 20% stress. Yeah, we'll take the stress. Uh, I'll take 20% stress for plus one health for those guys just in case. Um, don't give anyone... Is it worth giving you the meat just in case? Yuri, who's, who's low stress? Plus two die... Yeah, we're going to give Yuri an extra two die just in case because he can go anywhere. And, ah, as the cannibalism meat runs out, you can at any point kill someone for an extra three meat. But I think we're in okay shape to not do that right now. New events. 
17. <gasps> oh my goodness, that works out so bloody well. Because we all need to be in the flight control at the end of this turn. If we're all in the flight control at the end of this turn, then we're good. In fact, we don't even need to solve the problem. Though I think actually we're forced to solve the problem. I think, oh blimey, we have to solve the problem. We don't have a choice. Um, okay. The most healthy people should roll first. <laughs> Captain, you're up first. If we can just solve this one problem, everyone's allowed to move into the flight drop. But the entire, entire crew is going to make it to Mars. Unless I completely misroll and screw up on injuries. But the, the Im oh no, not the, not the multiplexer, demultiplexer recovery fail. It's, it's demultiplexing or the multiplexing and all the multiplexers are unmultiplexed. And that's bloody the opposite of what it's supposed to be doing. Roll the dice. Not two or three, not two or Double, yay, lovely. That's really useful. Right, six goes up here. Three and a two. Roll, re-roll, because it can't be much worse than that, to be honest. Uh, two, ouch, another injury for her, sorry. And then five. And then the two can just go, and uh, screw it, the, two can just, the two's got nothing better to do. All right, I just need to get four. Who's the next healthiest person? Allison is the next healthiest person. Allison, come join us. All right. I'm feeling like we're pretty good because this game gives you. I like. I've seen multiple endings to this game already. I'm really curious what the ending is going to be when I get all four people down there. I'm hoping it's going to be a good ending. Allison, do not roll nothing but twos and threes. That's at least one one. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, she only has three dice. Sorry, I thought she had more than that. Oh, we've done it. <gasps> we've totally done it. Yes, this is beautiful. Oh yes. The situation has been resolved. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The ship, the ship's fixed. There's nothing wrong with the ship and everyone can just go and join in the module. Joy, you're already in the module, aren't you? Yeah. Yuri? Come, no, 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 Yuri, don't, don't send Joy to that module. Yuri's getting in the flight module. All four people are going to make it to Mars. That's it, we're done. We're going to be done. Deploy. Deploy in here. And then start rolling dice just for... For fun. Just roll roll your horrendously bloody dice for literally no reason. Um, have we got a four in there? No, we don't have a four in there. All right, let's just patch up the ship. Let's get the ship up to maximum condition if we can. Uh, prevent injury. Um, a plus one die for crew. No, refresh. Get some more. Two assists. We don't need assists. I think we're fine. Uh, keep going. Plus three health for one crew member. Uh, who needs that? Ah, Joy wouldn't mind that. Joy would not mind that at all, actually. We'll, we'll keep that on hand for, for flipping Joy's turn. Um, all threes, which is not useful. Keep stop getting blood all over the module. We've won. We should be happy. This is a happy day. Happy, happy day. Um, yeah, prevent stasis, prevent injury. Uh, and then those are just going to go. Fine. And then Joy has to play her turn. Yep, Joy, you're also going to be deployed into flight module. We've done it. I cannot believe it. This has gone pretty well. I'm very happy. All right, now. Um, I can get myself some assists if I want to. Joy can increase her health. Yep. So Joy is now at full health. And, ooh, hang on. I might be able to reduce the whole crew's stress. I don't know if that makes any difference when we get down onto the planet. But if I can just get a 1 of 4 or 5 off these two dies. 1, 4 or 5. Yes, a 4. I can get everyone's stress down. Right, sedatives. Sedate the entire crew. Just before the important landing, sedate the entire crew. That's totally a sensible idea. And that's it. We're going to be done. Everyone's in the... Though, um, um, Alison, you might want to you might want to come inside the landing module. I'm just going to put that out there. Okay. All four team members have survived. And the stress is pretty low. We didn't kill anyone to eat them, but we did admittedly eat Mapea. Which may act against me, I don't know. Finish the deployment. No damage. Everyone's going. There were times I thought we'd never make it. Times I doubted it would even be here if we did. But there it is at last. Mars. It's time to learn the truth. Mission accomplished.
vanished. That is the third ending I've seen for Tharsis, and I suspect it is not the last I'm going to see either. Mission complete. Survive turned 10, events completed 46, got all four crew to land on Mars. They had quite a bit of health, quite a bit of dice, the ship hull was in pretty good state. So yeah, you're basically getting scored at the end. I think 1665 is a pretty respectable score, all things considered. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That is Tharsis. I've managed to complete a run of Tharsis, getting everyone there. Let's have a look-see here. Um, so this, by the way, is the crew selection screen. I didn't show you this at the beginning, so I thought it would like it was be a bit complicated if you didn't know what was going on. So um, the crew I obviously had was uh, I went for uh, the pilot who can move anywhere, the technician plus to assist, specialist for an additional reroll, and the captain for an extra die uh, as her special ability. Uh, the other characters, the ones you'll start with, are um, the doctor. So if she rolls a five for Six, you convert that into plus one health for all the crew in the module, which can be very, very useful. And the mechanic who can convert a five or a six into a point of ship health, which is again very, very useful. I haven't yet unlocked the, uh, the psychologist, who I'm guessing is good for keeping stress low. The commander, I've no idea what they do though. From the fact you unlock them with the repairs, I'm guessing something to do with more efficient repairing? I don't know. Or the cannibal, which is a strange thing to have brought, you know, along with you into space, but whatever. But there you are, ladies and gentlemen, that is Tharsis. It is genuinely excellent. If you like board games, survival games, brutally hard games, anything that involves rolling a dice, I thoroughly recommend this. It is excellent. Link in the description below. This is an early contender. I will make a note of this game to come back and look at when I'm compiling my top 10 of 2016. We have an early contender to be within that list. This game is fantastic. I've played like five, no hang on, more than that. No, I must have played six rounds of this game. I've played, I think, six rounds of this game. I think I've learned it reasonably well. Uh, but just so you know, um, that was done on the easiest difficulty. <laughs> There's a hard mode. <laughs> Oh no, I, I, I'm tempted to try hard mode next. Um, if this video goes down extremely well, maybe I will do a hard mode run of Tharsis and uh, see what we can do there. But uh, all right. Brilliant little game. Absolutely love it. Thoroughly recommended. But yes, more Tharsis soon, perhaps. I don't know. We shall see. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been the absolutely glorious Tharsis. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Just got to weaken the base of this a little bit more. Yes. Yes. Good news. I'm protecting you. Alex Mason, the man who can literally run as fast as a speeding truck. This game is basically just badasses don't look at explosions the game, isn't it? Oh, ho, 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 ho.